VeChain has been trading sideways since the 1st of October. In this video, we're gonna dive down into the technical analysis on VET to see whether or not this sideways trade is likely to continue for a few more days or whether or not we're going to finally start to see a bit of a break to the upside or downside. Guys, as we get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit that like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With this said, done out of the way, let's dive right down into this uh, this chart for VeChain to see exactly what is going on with the price action of VET. We're going to start things off, guys, with the weekly, just to give you a bit of an overview of where things are and how they are looking longer term. And then we're going to dive down into the daily. And of course, we're going to go into that hourly as well. So guys, I'm just going to give you a brief update on where things have been. Uh, I know this can be a bit repetitive, but there are so many new people to the channel. I want to just make sure that everyone's fully aware of the five impulse waves that have been going on. So we have uh, wave one, two, three, four, and we're looking for five. Okay, and this basically started back in March of 2020 and uh, through to the peak up here of April 2021. And this was an 18,295% move. With that being said, we do anticipate another 750% um, to take us up to that $1.01 one level. This is based on the performance of wave three and wave four. Okay, so take that into consideration. Uh, a fib on that high and that low puts us up to $1.01 one on the 4.236 extension on the Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so overall, everything's looking pretty good on this weekly chart. Another 750% would complete the bull run, in my opinion. And then we should go down into the bear market where we can accumulate more VeChain ahead of the 2025 bull run. Okay, and obviously, this is a project that you're going to want to do on a dollar cost average, a pretty good position on, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Chris is not a financial advisor. There's only really one person who's going to be responsible for their crypto investments, and that is yourself. So it's important that you do your own research research. We've done research on VeChain. We really do like it. There's a lot of noise, lots of FUD out there that's not very factual. Um, so it's important that you kind of move past that and actually dig much deeper to actually understand what is actually going on with VeChain and why this project is so important. Right. Um, the other thing that's so important to note is obviously the stochastic RSI has lowered down nicely. I'm um, currently at 35. Anything lower than 20 is oversold. Um, and obviously, we're looking for that reversal that we can see here. The month of September was not kind for many cryptocurrencies. And we had the pullback just here ahead of uh, pushing back up to the upside. The other thing that's also worth just noting is that every single wave will have waves inside. So we have five impulse waves since March of 2020. And uh, we can also assume that there's going to be five impulse waves inside our fifth wave, okay? So that's the kind of uh, price action that you're looking at. You're looking at waves within waves within waves. And I'm not going to keep going on about that. I like to keep it simple and just so that there's five impulse waves. But if you were to go down to the lower time frames, you'll see more waves, uh, etc. Okay, so that's your weekly chart. Everything's looking pretty good on the structure side of things. Uh, it has been going, moving quite nicely and according to plan since March of 2020. And again, that $1 level is the FIB 4.236 extension uh, and a 750% move from the current price of 11.7 cent. Okay, let's jump to a daily chart. Okay, the daily chart shows us exactly what's been going on. These um, charts, are the daily and of course the weekly, they're like cheat sheets in essence because they allow you to see the bigger picture without worrying about every single micro movement. Okay, so it's always important that we start there and then we dive down into the lower time frames and then we zoom back out and we take a look at that bigger picture so here on the daily is the next level down that i like to look at from the weekly seven of these candles make up one weekly candle obviously okay so obviously we can see here we have the 4.236 extension coming in at one dollar one cent this is based on the high of wave three or specifically the high on the 17th of april uh, and then when we come back down we can see the low and um, that's used in fourth wave correction on the 19th of may 2021 okay so those two points that high and that low show us moving up to a dollar so based on the performance of v chain we can see one dollar vet in this particular cycle okay but obviously we've got oh, quite a bit of work to do in order to get there okay in a similar, similar way that we saw some sideways trading occurring at the beginning of um our wave three right we had a good push to the upside we traded sideways up here for quite some time let me actually grab my date range and we can actually just analyze that so we traded sideways i'm going to take it from here um, to here for 29 days okay so we did a 29 day sideways trade after initially starting wave three 
okay and this was basically november okay things really didn't heat up until we got into the new year um but basically there's this sideways trade and then we really ramped up nicely right, what we're seeing right now is basically something very similar. We're trading sideways after a recent push to the upside um, after a pullback of September, right? So September pulled us down and now we've moved up and now we're trading sideways. So we could potentially trade sideways for a little bit longer if uh, history does tend to repeat itself, okay? With that being said, the battles are gonna be quite fast, but we do have some interesting things occurring on this daily chart. The first one I wanna talk about is this cup and handle. And this cup and handle is actually a very neat example, okay? Here's your cup. Here's your handle, and then we push on up into our key areas from here. So we're targeting about, um, I think it's 22 cent um, for VeChain in this particular cup and handle. Okay, that takes us right up into our key areas just here, the 618, the 702, the 786. The 22 cent target is actually firmly between the 702 and the 786. At coming in at 21.2 cent for the 702 and 23.1 cent for the 786. So these areas on this cup and handle, that's the target that we're searching towards. Now I'd like to think this is gonna happen in October, but timing is always the hardest thing to get. No one in my opinion is ever gonna get that timing bang on correct. It'll be in that ballpark maybe, um, but it will never actually be 100% is it's always the most difficult thing to actually time in the market. You can see the patterns, so you can predict out the patterns, you can do the price predictions, they're going to get you into pretty good zones but actually you don't know how long it's going to take you to get there okay but for me i like to think october after the month of um september being a month of corrections i'd like to think that october is going to be the month where we actually see this uh, pattern complete but it might actually just get extended a little bit into november but i do think in a few weeks we are going to be moving on nicely with vchain uh, going back to the upside targeting out this key area where we want to obviously go above our 23.1 cent zone where we can get that bull flag to take us to new all-time highs once we're in there i think december is going to be the key month for v chain really going up nicely and heading towards uh, that one dollar level but also taking out the 42 cent 64 cent and 87 cent targets on that journey overall this daily chart is looking pretty good and pretty bullish right um and um that's where the story unfortunately has to end on on the positive stuff because we are going to now jump across to the avi.io dashboard this avi.io dashboard uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to help us understand the underlying value of a cryptocurrency link in the description below if you're not familiar do sign up it's completely free and you're going to be able to get more insight on your cryptocurrencies it's been right more times than i can count and it's well worth paying attention to what this data is suggesting to you so for VeChain here, VET, uh, we have a B2 rating, okay? So it's pretty neutral overall. Uh, when we come on down a little bit, we have um, some a bit of a breakdown on this in a little bit more detail. We have a fear and greed index. This comes in at a C2 rating. So there's a lot of fear in the space, extreme fear in the space of VeChain right now. But this is slowly working its way back up. I would anticipate that this is actually going to start to become more greedy in time. And mainly once uh, Bitcoin actually passes 57K. So right now, um, there is extreme fear, and this is actually preventing us from moving up too high, but also um, because it's kind of you know, relatively bullish still, Bitcoin hasn't actually um, pulled out of its key zones. Therefore, actually, we, we, we're struggling to push up, but we're also just bouncing off of some key support levels. So we're actually just trading sideways, right? And we'll take a look at that in a moment. So extreme fear is basically preventing us from moving up, okay? And people are basically just trading or more willing to sell their, their vet right now, okay? So we have to be mindful and have to understand that. The other issue here on this underlying data is the AMIHAD ratio. This AMIHAD ratio is your liquidity. And then we've got a rating of D. This rating of D is indicating there are some pretty extreme issues when it comes to liquidity and VeChain. Now, I'm not entirely certain what these are but this is not the only cryptocurrency that is, has this kind of rating we see something very similar with cardano's ada and uh things like polka dot as well there's a uh, basically some issues going on with liquidity it could be an exchange it could be a couple of different exchanges it could be decentralized exchanges i'm not sure but buying and selling a v chain right now is going to be a little bit more difficult than it has been previously so this particular issue the amihad ratio issue 
is going to compound the fear in the space, okay? So those two things are not going to be working together to make your life any easier. So obviously we have to understand with extreme fear and liquidity-based problems, we shouldn't be expecting the price to spike up without first of all correcting some of these things. With that being said, when we come back down to the lower side, we get a different story. Here we can see that there is a sharp ratio that is an A2 rating. This is your risk reward rating. We are above the 50 day average. This particular indicator is telling us that actually the rewards outweigh the risks, which is the polar opposite to what we see here from a fear and greed index. The sentiment is very fearful, but actually the underlying data is suggesting you might want to have some exposure to VeChain. So these two things are quite interesting. This is the kind of fear that we should potentially be buying up. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, so it's important that you do your own research, but that's how I'm interpreting this data. As we come on down, we have moving averages that are actually up at A2. So again, there's no problems with the moving averages. <clears throat> there's no problem with the risk reward ratio and the profitability is up here at an A1. So there's two problems that are kind of hand in hand together. One is we've got liquidity based problems, which could be fueling some fear in the space. And we've got extreme fear for VeChain. <coughs> so overall, those are the two concerns. Everything else, the actual um, elements of, of the data that actually suggests whether or not long term it's a good investment, it's actually looking very, very good. We have a good sharp ratio, we have good moving averages, and we have a really good profitability. So the only issues that we have are really on these smaller timeframes. We have that sentiment that is not exactly looking very good right now, and we've got some temporary kind of issue when it comes to liquidity. So other than those two smaller things, everything longer term is looking very good, but we should be expecting some volatility on the smaller time frame, or to be more precise, some sideways trading. So when we come back into our chart here and we actually pull up our um, hourly view, let me just remove that cup and handle, we'll just delete that for a second. Here we can obviously see this sideways trade, right? And we've been basically trading sideways since we pushed up to, I'm going to take from this candle here um, to our current point. This basically comes in at seven days and 20 hours, okay? So we've been trading for sideways pretty much for a week now, right? And this isn't going to last forever, but it isn't going to end um, right now either, okay? So the expectation with where we are right now, considering our stochastic is moving back to the um, overbought area is to pull back down. We are probably going to lose 11.5 support, 11.5 uh, cent support line, and we should look to come back down towards our 11. Point, um, what is that? 11.2 uh, cent. Okay, and so I think that is probably where we're going to end up, considering the fear in the space. Then from there, we'll probably bounce back up. Hopefully, find that as a support level and continue this sideways trade. Hopefully, eventually, we'll actually target towards our 13.2 cent zone. Uh, and from there, then hopefully, we'll be continuing that growth to the upside. But we do need to see that sentiment shift and change on this smaller time frame before we can actually really start to take on those next levels. I think ultimately, this is really going to come on the back of what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin is still trading sideways itself in a very, very similar pattern to what you see here with VeChain. And we're waiting for Bitcoin to have enough confidence behind it to break that 57K level. Once 57K is broken and Bitcoin goes above its 786 area on the Fibonacci chart, this is going to be a big bull flag for many people on Bitcoin, which will then obviously allow the rest of these altcoins that are kind of um, copying the trading pattern of Bitcoin to allow them all to grow back to the upside overall. So recovery is something that is on the horizon here, but it is going to take a little bit longer, unfortunately. So do anticipate some more sideways trades and do anticipate then, um, you know, potentially moving up and coming down inside this area here uh, between 11, uh, actually, it might be a little bit higher. I think we're going to go probably to 12.3 and 11.2. Those seem to be the, the area that we're kind of working in at the moment. Um, and then obviously from there, you know, eventually we'll get that break and we'll be heading to the 13.2 cent area. Overall, the chart is looking very good. When we actually zoom out, we take a look at that daily with the cup and handle targeting 22 cent. And again, we can also take a look at the big structure of those five impulse waves to the upside on that weekly chart. So we know that the structure is still intact and everything is looking very good on our um, journey to $1.01. .01. Guys, I'm going to leave the video there, but if you have found it useful and informative, hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With this said, done and out of the way. I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.